Hello and welcome. Today we're going to make this fun sign with Char Couture with a cute mason jar. Now, this can be a sign just like this, indoors or out, or you can add handles to the side and make it a cute, fun summer tray. Either way, you're going to love how easy this project is. Today we're going to make a fun mason jar tray or piece of art using Chuck Couture. So the supplies you'll need is a wood base. So this wood base is perfect for making either a sign or even a tray as it is fairly deep. I've went ahead and painted it white to get us started. You'll also need a Chalk Couture transfer. This transfer has some great mason jar elements that I want to use on this project. You'll also need some squeegees, some stir sticks, some chalkology paste in the colors of your choice. I'm going to use a pink, white, and an aquamarine, as well as Thai teal. You'll also want to seal your project, especially if you're going to keep it for a long time. The sealer will keep the chalkology paste from being removed if it gets wet. So I would recommend this sealer finisher for like an art piece. Now, if you're going to use this as a tray, you might want to go one step further. Maybe coat it with a couple coats of poly or even an epoxy resin. We're going to start with the transfer itself and cut it into pieces. Now this is a very large transfer, but you just cut it along the cut lines into the pieces you need. I think I'm going to use the squeeze the day as well as a mason jar full of pink lemonade on my project. Now the rest of these I can put aside and use on a different project. Well, I'll be showing you how to clean these pieces as well as we go through the project so you can use these over and over again. First, let's get an idea of how we're going to lay out the design. You can do this however you would like. The beauty of the transfer is that you can mix and match and use it for a variety of projects. So I think I'm going to divide this word, this quote up into three different pieces down the side and then put the mason jar full of pink lemonade on the opposite side. So let's start with the mason jar. Now we're going to start with the mason jar, but that means we need to start with the liquid, layering the jar on top of it. The first thing you'll want to do is fuzz your transfer when dealing with surfaces like wood and other hard surfaces. Just stick the transfer to an old bath towel to pick up a little bit of fuzz on the back. This is just so it won't stick too much and you're able to easily remove it later. Now, you just stick this down to your surface, ensuring that there are no bubbles. I like to use a squeegee to go over the transfer, just making sure it's adhered well. I want to make this portion pink. I want to make it look like pink lemonade. Now, there is a bubblegum chalkology paste, but this is a little bright for pink lemonade. So we're actually going to mix this with white and create a custom color. When you create a custom color, you will not be able to reuse the chalkology paste. So be careful of how much you use, as any excess will be waste. Now that we have more of a pastel pink, we'll just apply that. Remove all the excess. And then peel the transfer back up. Yeah, we'll have to let this portion dry before we can add the mason jar layer on the top. We can put this in water until we can wash it, or we can wash now. While this portion dries, we can move on and do some of our quote. So we're going to do the squeeze portion at the top. There is portions that I do not want to use on this first application. So first of all, I do not want to use the V or go past the squeeze. And I'm also going to leave the quote marks off of this project. Now, you can put painter's tape over those if you would like, or you can just avoid those areas as you're applying your Chuckology paste. I'm going to use the tie teal for this portion. I've already started. We're just going to apply it to the transfer. 
Now the beauty of trichology phase is if you do get any into the the, the quotation marks, or even off the transfer, with the paste, you can just use water, wipe it right back up. As it's not sealed, it is easily removable. Same goes if you mess up on your transfer. Say you don't have it all the way down or you have a bubble inside of it, just erase it and start again. We can just continue down the side with the rest of our quote. Just be careful, since this chalkology paste is still wet, do not apply the transfer over that portion. And this one just is slightly messed up, where I probably had a bubble. You can actually use Q-tips to clean that up if you just have a small mistake. Just dip those in a little water and rub away your mistake. Q-tips work great, toothpicks as well. If I had a larger mistake, I could definitely just erase the whole thing and start over. Now I can wash this entire transfer or put it in water until I can wash it. Just be sure that the Chalkology face does not dry on top of the transfer. I also want to use this tie teal to make a straw sticking out of my lemonade. Now the mason jar itself has a neck on it, so we want to make this fairly straight but at a slight angle. This Chalkology paste, remember, has dried, so I can feel free to put my transfer on top of it. I'm just going to make my straw look like it's touching the lemonade slightly and at a slight angle. And we'll just use a little of this teal paste and go right over it. Once this portion is dry, you can apply your mason jar. You can speed up the process with a hair dryer if you would like. And now we just need to get everything perfectly aligned with the elements that we already have on the board. We're just going to use this aquamarine paste because it really reminds me of the color of vintage mason jars. Now for a little information on cleanup. I like to use Clorox wipes and just clean up the front and back of the transfer. You can definitely drop these in water as you're working and clean them all up at the end or you can clean them up as you go along. Then just flip it over be sure to use a clean Clorox wipe on the back as well. And then you're going to let this dry sticky side up. Put it back on that backing paper that you removed it from. To the shiny side of the backing paper. And then you can use these transfers over and over again to create unique pieces for yourself or to sell or even as gifts. So I'm going to set that aside and allow it to dry. And then you'll also want to clean up any tools. So your squeegees your star sticks, just clean those up. I just use the Clorox wipe for everything because they're handy. And then you wanna make sure to keep the lids on your Chalkology paste so they don't dry out. Now for our mason jar art, we wanna let it completely dry. Use a sealer on it if you were gonna use it as art. If you're gonna use it as a tray, you could drill holes in the side and add some rope handles and then put a more aggressive sealer over the top. So think of something like a couple of coats of poly or uh, some poured resin or something like that. But you definitely wanna do the spray sealer before you do those, as that would seal it from water. And then you could do those more aggressive sealers over the top to make something like a tray. So just be sure you seal it really well. Either way, if you're gonna use it as a sign or as a tray, because you don't want that gorgeous work you just did to wash away when it gets wet. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe so you don't miss any other crafty fun.